This HAN Network video is brought to you by Coastal Orthopedics. We're at Fairfield Ward High School for the 2016 FCAC Fall Sports Tour. I'm Frank Renita for the HAN Network and I'm joined by some of the senior runners from the Ward Boys and Girls Cross Country teams. They are Will Brisman, Sarah Rajevitz, and Gabby Galetta. Girls, Will, thank you for taking time out with us today. Let me start with you, Will. You guys lose a pretty good amount of seniors running. What's your role as one of the seniors now in getting some of the new kids accolated? Well, we lost a lot of seniors and a lot of really good leaders, so now we got to get a lot of the younger kids involved and hopefully that they can step up and fill those spots. Girls, you don't lose as many runners this year. You'll have a veteran team. Uh, what do you expect to do as a running team? Um, I think that we still have to lead because our seniors left who were leaders, so we have to fill in those positions. And we also did a lot of hard work over the summer, which I think really helped to get us in shape for the season. Gabby, what was some of that summer training like that you guys had going on? Um, we had team practices three to four days a week, and we did a lot of team bonding to get the younger members like more comfortable with everyone else on the team. So that's what we did this summer to prepare. Sarah, can you tell us about some of those team bonding exercises you had going? Um, we did a lot of name games and other like fun dinners just to get the team together. Well, what was the boys training like? How did the off season go? Preseason coming to the end now. What did you guys have going on? Uh, so we were running together virtually every day. We were doing captain's practices throughout the entire summer. And uh, similarly to the girls team, we were doing bonding activities. You know, we'd play like Frisbee or we'd uh, go out to eat together, stuff like that. And we just trained the whole summer long and we're feeling pretty good. Who are some of the young runners or new faces that we might see make an impact for the Mustangs this year on the track? Um, a lot of our top guys actually are going to be juniors this year. So we're talking about guys like Alex Makarski, Chris Lepla, James Maniscalco those guys. Girls, if you had to set expectations for the season or where you'd like to finish, what do you hope to accomplish? Um, we really want to place high in FCX and states. I think our biggest goal is to make it to New England, so we're really working towards that. You had a pretty good finish in FCX last year. How do you build off that experience and continue to improve? Um, I think that I want to do just as well as I did last year, maybe place even higher this year just to better my times, not necessarily place, but PRing is always a big accomplishment. So that's really all I could ask for. Well, is there one meet that you would be most excited for heading into the year? Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to the State Open. Last year, our guys team, we made New England's as a team for the first time in quite a few years. So we want to come top six at the Open again, if not even better. How about you girls, any meat that stands out? Um, I'm really excited for our Rhode Island trip at Warwick and that's a great invitational to do. It's a good team bonding, we get to stay there all together and it's just fun. How about you Gabby? Um, I'm very excited for states this year because last year like we didn't make it to the state open as a team and so this year we're all really working hard to make it to the state open as a team and then even further to the New England meet as a team. Well, thank you to both of you, or all three of you, excuse me, for coming out and talking with us today. We want to wish you the best of luck all season long on the courses, and we look forward to seeing you at the Cross Country Championships at the end of October. Make sure you stay with us on the 2016 FCAC Fall Sports Tour that continues right here on the HAN Network.